Hello, it's Craig from Unleashed Education here. Thanks for tuning in to this editing toolbox video. In these videos, we focus on sharing a quick tip, trick or technique to help you improve your pet photography editing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly change the season in Lightroom. This is quite a common technique, but the key to the success in doing this is that you're just making subtle changes to an image. This shot was taken at the very beginning of the autumn, so there were quite a few fallen leaves, even though the trees were mostly still green. So making some changes to the greens will still result in a believable image. Whereas if I was going to transform this into a wintry scene filled with frost, for example, it would not be very believable as I'd be working against what the scene already provides me. So let's have a look at the image and let's start making some tweaks. As I was saying, you can see here, you've got all these kind of golden and orange tones from the leaves that are falling. And just in the trees at the top here, there's a little bit of yellow, but there's not really much color that is reflected in the color of the leaves that have fallen. What I'm going to do to change that is use some masks. In the mask panel here, I'm gonna create a new mask and I actually want to select a color range. Then I'll take the eyedropper and I'm going to select and drag over these green areas. As you can see, it selected quite a large part of the image. So we just need to refine the selection. The first thing I want to do to refine the selection though is to use the subtract and select subject. So now any of the changes that I make are not going to apply to the subjects. So now I can go back to this color range and I can start refining it. So I'm just going to take this down so it applies to less of the image. So I'm happy with it just kind of being up here amongst the trees. Then I'll make one more subtraction, this time with a brush. And I don't want to really change any of the grass or anything down at the bottom. So I'll just brush this whole area, take that all away, take it away from the tree trunks a little bit. And that's all I need to do for this selection. So now what I want to change is just the hue of these colors here. So to make it a little bit warmer, we're taking it to the left, pulling and dragging this to the left till we get to a hue that looks kind of reflected in these colors down at the bottom. Then we can play with the white balance as well just to make it a little bit more vibrant. And we can even play with the saturation too. Now I'm noticing that there's a little bit missing between them and a little bit of green is being reflected on Kevin's fur there. So I'm just gonna go back to add brush and just zoom in and just refine these edges a little bit. If I go over too much and it gets crazy, I can always go back and delete. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so then I'll go to erase, take it off of the hair here where it's gone quite red, take it off of Kevin where it's gone really red. Okay, so that's step one. The next step I'm going to basically do is repeat myself just in these darker greens here. Again, we just need to refine this and really I'm just wanting it to apply to the dark tones now. And same thing again, we'll just change the tone of that with the slider here. Change the white balance. And that's about it really. If you wanted to kind of fine tune this even more, you could just grab your spot healing brush and just brush on places like this where there are some shadows that haven't really changed massively. And that is about it, guys. Nice, quick and simple way to add autumnal tones to an image and change the season. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again for my next editing toolbox video really soon.